Hello everyone, welcome to Linked Frequency. I am Vaibhav Sugandhi and in this tutorial we are going to talk about introduction to Arduino IDE. In previous tutorial we installed Arduino IDE in our computer and also we spoke about basic definitions and fundamental use case of different terminologies that we are going to use in this entire tutorial. Now we are going to talk about how and what are the options available in Arduino IDE. We are going to talk about how we can use this Arduino IDE to build our projects and create a code for our entire embedded system. Without wasting a time, let's get started. Great, you can see a screen in front of you which is Arduino IDE installed in my computer and it is launched by double clicking on the icon which is represented on desktop. So now we are going to walk through a detailed introduction about this particular environment where we are going to write our code in coming days. Of course, I'm going to explain you all the things in coming tutorial and the syntax and instruction set and all those things. Today we are not focusing on instruction set or a syntax, we are more focusing on what is the difference different different or what are the different different options available here which helps us to build our project more effectively first of all we can see that this is an environment where we are going to write our code of course a setup and loop are the very important functions of the entire Arduino programming language or entire Arduino programming concept all around so we, we are having these two functions in the entire program without fail if any one of them are missing then of course your code is not going to work and your code is not going to run the way in which you wanted to run it. And also we have uh, certain options in, in file and preference section where when we go to the preference section we are having you know font size which is the most important thing based on the monitor based on the size of your monitor you can adjust your font size initially it comes around somewhere, somewhere around 15 for my monitor for my eye comfort I'll make it as a 22 all the time whenever I install this particular software first time in my uh, new computer thereafter we will be having a display line number option this is unchecked when we install the software so you make sure that you check this one by because you need to know how many number of lines of code you have written in in the entire uh, project so you have to understand which line is having a problem while debugging and all those process you need this kind of uh, special features one more very important thing is all about these additional board manager URLs these are very very helpful when you are installing other than Arduino development board uh, software say for example I already said that if you want to program ESP8266 module or ESP uh, other modules which are non Arduino development boards then you need to install that library in your computer or library in your Arduino software as a whole on that time there is certain JSON file which is uh, connecting between your software and the library library where it is located by using a github repository and all so we need to add that json link in this particular uh, you know url section so make sure that you remember this preference section so that you can use it as per the requirement as per the library that you wanted to install so right now we are not dealing with the Arduino development board as a hardware again we are using a software called Tinkercad hence we are not going to use these URLs and install any external library or a boards in this particular software but when you are working on a hardware I think this is the most important thing thereafter we will be having other options in in you know sketch and also tools which are dependent on hardware but in sketch section you can see that there is something called include library this include library is mainly dedicated for installing external library other than the predefined library which comes along with the software as a as a package so if we wanted to work with some other library which is not located in this particular software by default then you just need to add that library by using a zip file or maybe if you are having a zip file downloaded from any other repository in online then you can add it by using a zip uh, format otherwise you can always install it directly by using manage libraries the moment when you click on manage library of course you need to have an active internet connection in your computer to run this particular uh, manage library section so the moment when you click on it it will just try to patch the backend uh, you know data and it will fetch the backend information what all libraries installed in your computer and what are not installed based on that it will pop up one window and here you can search your specific library based on your project and install it this is only required the moment when you are working on hardware 
not on the software if you are using a tinkercad if you are simulating your project by using a tinkercad i think this part is not required similarly uh, we have something called tools in that tool section we can see that the board option is visible to us right now i'm i'm just you know selected with a arduino uno which is a by default uh, selection in the software if you want to install any other board other than arduino development board like arduino uno arduino mega arduino lily pad arduino micro uh, arduino mini so many things are there right so other than those arduino development boards if you want to install anything like you know esp8266 or maybe um, you know stm32 or some other boards which are non arduino development boards then you have to click on this board manager i have to add that json link in the preference section which i already spoke and then you have to click on this board manager and search for a specific uh, board and then install it this is how we need to install external library and external board to this Arduino code or Arduino as a software. Okay, so basically I'm using this software for visualization purpose. I'm, I'm trying to explain our syntaxes and our you know instruction set and we try to visualize them in a much better way in this particular software. The reason is it has a color dependency. Say for example, if you are writing one instruction, it changes its color. So which is not possible in Tinkercad right now at this point of time when I'm recording this video that feature is not implemented in Tinkercad because of which I'm using this Arduino development ID or Arduino ID as a development platform for writing a code and then I'm going to copy this code paste it in Tinkercad and run it or simulate it with a hardware that we are going to build in Tinkercad. So I'm just trying to give you the glimpse of Arduino development uh, ID or Arduino ID and also I'm going to give you a glimpse of how we can integrate both the software like Arduino ID and Tinkercad and mix them and develop your simulation process and complete your project. Of course when it comes to hardware we need this one not the Tinkercad. Tinkercad is not going to help you at any point of time when you are working with a hardware but when you are working with a software then this one and a Tinkercad is a great combination. To understand a code, we need this one and to understand the functionality of the code, we need a Tinkercad. How we do that actually, we write a code here. Of course, we are going to explain how, how we are going to learn, how, how we are going to write entire code and all. So once we are writing a code here, we are going to copy that code and we are going to head towards a Tinkercad and you can see that this is a Tinkercad platform. The moment when we head towards a Tinkercad platform, we have to create a circuit for that of course let us assume that i have created a certain circuit like this one a sensor integration and all which we are going to learn in coming tutorial for sure but let me tinker this particular uh, circuit in tinkercad so once once we open that circuit there is an option for writing a code as well in tinkercad they have provided a ide where we can write our arduino code and you know simply run it and it it gets simulated with a hardware so this is how the code looks like i mean this is how the circuit looks like and when when we click on this start, start simulation your code will get simulated along with this circuit or along with this hardware that's why we need to write a code for that without code this hardware will not work for sure right so we can click on this code window here there are certain settings we need to do which i will explain in the tutorial when when the tinkercad comes into the picture but right now when you click on this code you can see that there is a small code if I look at this code in Tinkercad, you can see that it is looking like, you know, all are black and some, some, you know, special words are indicated with a different color. But when we copy the same code from Tinkercad, actually we need to do it in a reverse way, but I'm doing it in uh, another way so that you can visualize how exactly it is different from Tinkercad to our uh, Arduino IDE. Now you can see that in Arduino IDE, uh, even smallest of smallest instruction like, you know, pin mode, which is indicated with a different color. So that you can get to know whether your code is right or wrong before simulation only okay so if if the color is not changing say for example instead of writing a capital m if you have written a small m you can see that there is a difference between a actual instruction and the wrong instruction which will indicate you there is a certain mistake which you can correct before compilation only so these are the advantages and that is the reason why we are using this arduino ide and then in combination of tinkercad so this is how we are trying to integrate our uh, softwares, which is Arduino IDE and um, you know, Tinkercad. And I hope you enjoy the entire process of uh, learning this Arduino development board uh, programming and also implementing projects by using Arduino board. Thank you so much for watching this particular video. I hope you understood and I hope you got to know the reason why we are using Arduino IDE separately along with Tinkercad.
कंसिडर सब्सक्राइबिंग टू अवर चैनल लिंक्ड फ्रीक्वेंसी ट्यून यूर सेल्फ टू मेक अ डिफरेंस